Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, in this series of Windows 10, slow Windows 10 PCs. Um, you know, is it time to change or not the PC? There's a lot of things you can do and most of the time it will actually work. The first thing you need to check is do you have too many software, too much software installed and too many software that in actually start up with the PC and too many useless pieces of software. You know, one of the biggest slowdowns of um, PCs in general is people having too many useless crap software. And what I mean by that, third-party antiviruses, they are not better than what's on the system and whatever is on the system is not anyways protecting you. Too many people rely on antivirus that's not the protection. So having third-party antivirus often slows down the PC. They are often big packages, especially if you think that purchasing that huge antivirus package that has, you know, checks everything, including the color of your clothes, it's going to protect you. You're wrong. That's not protection. And that slows down your PC, and that is a big problem. You're, you're, you're running CCleaner. You're running, you know, all sorts of RAM optimizers, programs like that. How many icons do you have on your taskbar that are running software? If you have a lot, there's a problem, and that's why your PC is slow. So that is one thing you can check out. First of all, what starts with your PC? Right-click the Start button, go into the Task Manager, and on the top, you have startup. What's starting with your PC? Disable everything that you don't need and make sure that it's just the minimum amount of software that will start up here. There's also a impact. So it tells you the startup impact of everything. But also what happens with this is not just a startup impact, it's important to check. The more you will have on this list, the more is running in the background, and that will hit your performance. That will mean your CPU usage might be much higher. There might be a lot more things running, and that will hit also on your memory, because the more apps are running, the more memory is going to be used. Sometimes you have enough RAM, but you have too much processes running, filling it up. You don't need RAM optimizers. These do not help in any way. You need more RAM if you need more RAM. But first of all, lower the amount of useless things starting up. That is extremely important. And you know what? The more you have installed that startup, once again, the slower the PC is going to be. It's going to be slow in every single way that you use it. So you can also look at the processes. In the processes, what you could do is check out what's using the most CPU or RAM memory. Check it out. And you might notice that a lot of the things that start up with your PC are there using a, a high amount of all of that, of the resources of the PC. And you know what? By lowering what's starting up by actually making sure they don't and they are disabled here, that's going to help already. I don't know many times as a tech guy just doing this already made a difference in how fast a PC is running. So check out what's running, what's starting up, and just disable everything that you don't need of course, there's a few things I want to keep. For example, here I'm keeping Windows security notifications. There's a few things. If you're not sure what to disable, disable it once at a time. Restart your computer and check out, does it you know, work well? Is something missing? And chances are you'll be able to disable almost everything on this list. Keep just a bare minimum and you're going to have a much faster computer. Once this is done and you've disabled most of it, you'll notice probably that in the performance tab, 
the amount of RAM memory used is going to be lower. Your CPU might actually also be used at a lesser extent. So all of that will help because the more you have running in the background, the more the PC has to do tasks. The more tasks it has to do and the older it is at the same time, the slower it gets. And so this is important to check out. So check what starts up with your PC. Extremely important and disable the most of what's there. That definitely is going to help. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.